Hello, welcome to Movie Musters. Ghost Season 3 Episode 9 Review A Last Gift, Power Book 2 Bringing Tommy Egan back was something I didn't see happening, but it creates a new dynamic and exciting picture for the finale, especially considering Tarek's knowledge that Monet had revealed Tasha to him. Tommy has a very bitter grudge against Tasha and has never been one to let things go. Keep in mind La Keisha. Tommy traveled all the way from Chicago to murder Tasha for good, but he wasn't planning on facing Tarek again. When power first began, could you have ever envisaged a situation in which Tommy would be willing to murder both Tasha and Tarek? There is simply too much anguish and guilt to attempt to rebuild what was once a strong friendship. Nevertheless, Tarek still refers to Tommy as Uncle Tommy and still loves him because that is all he has ever known. Even if Tommy hadn't been knocked out beforehand, it wouldn't stop him from shooting Tommy square between the eyes. Tasha would have been the only person who could have reasonably knocked him out, but why? Tommy was momentarily preoccupied, so he had a chance. Additionally, considering Tommy intends to kill her and everything, he would be better off dead. But there must be a reason why she decided it was best to keep Tommy alive, and maybe that reason will be revealed in the conclusion when she is apprehended, providing Tommy doesn't truly endanger her life. Tarek was flitting between locations and setting one scheme into motion after another, and he was unaware that the Tejadas were the group he had to be most concerned about. On this show, Tarek always seems to be the first person to speak when someone is in difficulty. And it's humorous since we've seen Tarek's ingenuity and skill to wiggle his way out of sticky situations so many times. He is experienced in this, and the Tejadas were unaware of Ghost. They were unaware of Tarek's early exposure to the milieu that shaped the guy they know today, as well as Conan. Even with such odds, I would bet heavily on Tarek if it ends up being the Tejadas versus Tarek. If it comes to that, would the hell Tejadas even be on the same side? Evelyn, Drew is featured in a video that is circulating. Have any knowledge of that? Monet, do I appear to be a YouTube user? Stop lying, bitch, Evelyn said. Monet, have you gone completely insane? The fact that Evelyn left it as her deathbed confession was commendable because it was only a matter of time before Monet's secret was revealed. She was going to pass away and she wanted to leave a lasting impression on the person who not only contributed to her passing but also caused her and her family so much suffering. For a long time, the Tejada siblings have operated independently of one another, and this was never more apparent than when they were attempting to figure out why Tarek had that police file, and how there was a connection. Who has time to think about romance when a Rico is hanging over your head? I don't blame him for hastily leaving that dorm room. Tarek, however, became Drew and Diana's number one opponent after learning about the police report. After their mother, perhaps number two. Why does the Tejada dining room host all the best scenes? Every season, there is a bizarre and dramatic scene that Mary J. Blige always supports. Monet did not falter or even attempt to retract her actions after she was caught. Simply put, she wanted to get even with Zeke and she didn't care who she had to hurt in the process. Monet Tejada doesn't give a damn about her kids. She accomplished everything for herself. What do Drew, Diana, and Kane do next, though, now that they are aware of the truth? My hunch is that they pursue Tarek and attempt to place the Rico on his shoulders, but do they simply leave Monet off the hook? That is still their mother, no matter how hurt they may feel. They wouldn't go that far, though, would they? Not because children haven't killed parents in this realm. Nonetheless, however, seeking revenge on Monet would reduce them to her level. People, get ready for the end since there is just one hour left. Tarek appears to be in danger from the entire world, and he is out of allies. But when has St. Patrick ever been stopped by that? Other information you should know. I'm not sure if Effie will continue to love Tarek or be willing to abandon him in the future. Given their recent talk, Jenny must have been devastated to learn that Sax had confessed his affections for her in that letter. But Sax didn't give terrible advice. How long did he spend seeking justice? Take a look at the results. Blanca and Jenny had lost two people helping them on their case. Do you believe that even makes them a little uneasy? They don't act like it, for sure. We'll encounter Noma again soon and I don't think she'll be as eager to cooperate with Tarek as Obai was. Are they going to re-examine Noma's investigation into Mecca's murder? Tarek was acting so cold-blooded at this time. He was tired of Kane's resentment and Brayden's whining. He was weary. But I think we can all agree that Kane is jealous of Tarek. The big moment has here. The hours of this season pass quickly, and the strain increased steadily. There are numerous plots, ranging from trying to locate Tasha and Tommy to determining whether Jenny and Blanca can launch this Rico. There are many unanswered questions, so post your predictions in the comments area and help me out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.